A little recitation entitled Scene from EastEnders. He said, Ear. I said, Where? He said, Ear. I said, Who? He said, You. I said, What? He said, I want a word. I said, So? He said, Over here, son, right now. I said, What? He said, Ear. I said, Me? He said, Well, I ain't talking to the Archbishop of Canterbury, am I? Because he's not here. So I gave him a look, sort of lingering and meaningful, quizzical, somehow conveying an aspect of insight and knowledge, maintaining, however, an air of due deference, bearing in mind the distinct contradiction of character values. And there again, allowing an ensuing period of significant silence to develop, as was befitting the situation. Then there, in the black at the back of the set, the opening door, her sharp silhouette stark against shafts of incoming light. You know her, but why here? And why now? Will she see? Is this the full screen, big emotional, sobbing and screaming end scene with the up nostrils camera and weeping mascara and tumbled head, eye rolling, hand wringing drama? Well, no, actually, not this time. As camera pans back, we are frozen, immobile. He glances beyond. I don't notice. He says, what a word. I says, yeah, I heard. His hand on my shoulder now into the recess of shadows. He leaning intently, closer, uncomfortably, cheek against my cheek. Lips to my ear, closer, uncomfortably closer, inhaling, lips pursing, and